Manuel Suneet Khan. Bring the ball back into the left-hander. 27 years of age. How good the previous over was from Mohamed Amir. 93 wickets. He's a wicket taker. Bowled superbly with the new ball against England the other day. Best of four for 12. And he's the one bowler in world cricket that has a decent record against Virat Kohli. He's got him out three times in 22 deliveries. Junaid Khan, his first challenge is bowling at Shikadawan. Two slips, third man, regulation offside field. And that one is someone who doesn't enjoy batting against the left arm quicks early on. This time coming back into the left-hander. So it's, it's not a bad ploy, putting him early on against Shekhar Dhawan. We saw the likes of Mitchell Stark, Trent Bowl creating problems early on around the off stump. That's the wicket of Rohit Sharma. Big wicket for Pakistan. Coming back into the left-hander, swinging in. Very little swing and it hits the pads. And a big wicket for Pakistan. Likes this ground. 305 runs in uh, just three innings, averaging 150 plus. Good areas. What is going on in Shekhar Dhawan's mind? Does he keep playing his natural game? Or does he take a little bit of time? He's got a very good record in this ground, but it's a different stage, a different situation. 338. There you go, Junaid Khan to Virat Kohli. Three dismissals, 22 deliveries, just two runs scored. Average of uh, 0.66. Excellent from both the left armers. No freebies at all. Just that surprise element of the left armor. Two going across and then from nowhere the ball comes back in. That's why left armers offer you so much natural variation going across and the surprise in swinger. All the way. We'll get Kohli on strike. He's got to be careful with the length to Shekhar Dhawan. Yes, every now and then the short ball is fine. But it's important that he pitches up. That's one of the views from the ground. Just out there, he's left the ball well in test match cricket. That dangerous line in one day cricket, it'll be interesting to see how long he leaves it out there. And Pakistan will be coming out with a plan against him. The win predictor, Pakistan 68%. But don't go anywhere if Virat Kohli gets in. <laughs> Any total is gettable. This is a very strong Indian batting lineup. It'll be very interesting to see where as these Pakistan bowlers bowl to him. Just outside the off stump, making him hit through the offside. That's across his stumps. Got to stay off middle, middle and leg. Kohli. Another good over from both left armers now. Four for one. And it's going to be some run chase for India. 335 from just 48 overs. Here's the outside edge. That will hurry away. I might even think of three here. Kohli says no, we'll settle for two. It's a well-balanced attack as well. There's no let-up from Pakistan. That's why they're here in this final. Hassan Ali will follow. Then they have a couple of very good spinners. Shadab Khan and Imad Wasim. Mohamed Afiz can bowl a bit of spin as well. So there's plenty of variation. India played Shadab pretty well, used their feet against him at Edge Baston. I like that contest. He's coming out hard at the best batsman in this format at the moment. It's going to be a great battle. A wicket here from Pakistan. Could be game on. He loves the challenge, Kohli. He loves doing things that other people can't do. He would love to win it from this position, get a big hundred. Keeps trying to push himself and his team from any situation.
Not a man you want to drop. Terrific delivery. Just, that's the coach, Miki Atha, but have a look at Mohamed Amir's face. A regulation outside edge. Carrying to the first slip. Fourth stump again. That area in England, he's been vulnerable, nicked it. Everything was perfect apart from that. Regulation off the shoulder, catch it someone. And then you look up and you see it's Coley.